Hey, what's going on, people? So Nottingham Forest have officially announced the signing of fullback Omar Richards from Bayern Munich. I'm currently sat here asking myself how the fuck deals with foreign clubs keep getting done so quickly while the domestic arrival in Neko Williams is yet to be completed, but I'm sure that'll happen in due course. The fee for Richards is a reported £10 million, which represents decent value for a 24-year-old who now has experience representing a giant of a club in a pressure cooker environment. While most players tend to come out with dull platitudes in interviews upon signing, you can tell Richards really does appreciate the atmosphere at the city ground and is looking forward to fulfilling his lifelong ambition of playing Premier League football. It's quite clear that Steve Cooper has identified defensive positions as key areas to strengthen in, which is why all but one arrival thus far will be part of the back line. For those unaware of his background, Richards is a Lewisham lad who actually began his career at Fulham's academy, who've been producing some top talent this past decade. Similar to Jed Spence, who you'll all know very well by now, he was released by the club at under-16 level due to an incredible amount of competition within the youth ranks. Reading spotted an opportunity to bring him in with academy coach David Dodds converting Richards from a left-sided forward into a left-back, which essentially makes him the reverse Gareth Bale. He was given his debut by legendary centre-half Yap Stam and scored his first professional goal against, you guessed it, Nottingham Forest in a one-all away draw during the 2017-18 season. Just like with Michael Olise, clubs around Europe saw a chance to bring in a player from Reading in 2021 with immense talent and Bayern offered him a four-year deal, which he duly accepted. Although things haven't quite worked out for him in Bavaria, it's important to take into account that he was thrown into the deep end and went from playing championship football to representing a top-flight club that's expected to win every single game they play. That too after leaving the UK for the first time in his life in what proved to be a big cultural adaptation. Additionally, he was competing with one of the best in the game for a place in the 11 in Alfonso Davis and would have no doubt learned a lot from simply observing him in training as well as on match days. Throw in four Champions League appearances to all this and you have a man well prepared for the rigours of Premier League football. As shown by Richards' heat map, he constantly hugs the touchline and can be utilised as both a left back or a left wing back which provides a level of tactical flexibility for Cooper. Unlike some modern-day players in his position who like to drift inside and get involved in build-up play, Richards is quite old-school in his approach and prefers to stay out wide while overlapping the winger and crossing or passing it into the box. While at Reading, his long-range passing was often used to break the opposition's press and quickly advance the ball up the pitch, something which could very well be required at Forest depending on the opposition. He's brilliant at getting past players in one-on-one -on -one situations and was one of the most prolific as well as successful dribblers amongst his championship counterparts in 2021. He attempts crosses from all parts of the opposition half, whether it be via deeper positions or closer to the byline. The type of delivery varies too, with him making both whipped crosses as well as driven balls into the box depending on what's going on in the game. Unfortunately, his end product is still lacking, which puts him quite low on the attacking front when compared with fullbacks across Europe's top leagues, but there is certainly promise that he could improve on this front. It's heartening to see via the chart on screen that he doesn't get bogged down and continues to push his side up the pitch whenever possible. In terms of his defending, Richards is a highly aggressive player who gets as tight as possible to his opponent, knowing full well that he can utilise his recovery pace should they knock the ball past him. His positional sense is quite impressive too as you'll see him cover for teammates and even become an auxiliary centre-back at times in order to track runners into central areas. Overall, Richards has the physical and mental attributes to succeed at Forest. While a call-up to Southgate's side looks unlikely as things stand, Richards could very well end up representing a quickly improving Jamaica side where players such as Mikhail Antonio, Andre Gray, Ethan Pinnock, Leon Bailey and Ravel Morrison within their ranks. This will help give him some much-needed exposure while participating in potentially important tournaments. His former coaches uniformly praise his attitude and say that he takes in information very well while spending extra time on the training ground to improve on the little 1%. One can only hope this translates into quality performances. Cheers for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, fuck me. This was supposed to be my off day, but Nottingham Forest announced him, so I wanted to get on it right away. Please do consider liking the video and subscribing if you enjoyed the content. And if you're new to the channel, I've done breakdowns on every single signing that Nottingham Forest have made thus far, which you can check out via my channel pages. I'm sure I'll be doing one on Neko Williams over the next 48 to 72 hours. So do stay tuned for that and I hope you've all had a wonderful weekend. Peace.